Hello there, welcome. So before I make today's roll along workout, I want to make a really quick video talking about how to get power or speed into the Concept2 rowing machine. Because I think it's misunderstood by quite a lot of people who think that there's some magic going on. Like, like there's a certain place you must set the drag factor to in order to be able to go fast. Or I don't know, cats or, or something like that. The truth is, it's quite a simple idea to make this machine go fast. So what I'm going to do is I've got the lever set between 5 and 6, which for me gives 140 drag factor, okay? Now that should hopefully get out the way that you think that it has to be set to max or minimum or a certain drag factor. Next up, I'm going to row at 20 strokes a minute, and I'm just going to go through two or three different things in order to show how it changes the pace, right? So I've got our data set up, and I'm recording that uh, as we do this, so hopefully... It's just appeared on screen and you can look at that as I go through and what I'd say is look at the pace, look at the drive length and look at the drive speed as I go through these different things, okay? Because that's really what it comes down to. So I'm going to do this at 20 strokes a minute. Uh, if I, yeah, if I can, well, talk, I should be able to. But anyway, less talk and more rowing. That's what the t-shirt says. So here we go then. So 20 strokes a minute and I'm going to start, start off with quite a, a dodgy technique, okay? So one stroke every three seconds. Right, and I'm really, I'm leaning back the whole time. It's not really the best of technique. This is giving me a shorter drive length and a slower drive speed, but I'm still rowing at 20 strokes a minute, okay? But I'm just kind of limping my way through here. Not really doing any great guns. So the first thing I'm gonna improve on is my posture and my positions. So I'm gonna go into a forwards tilt with my arms straight and I'm not doing anything really to change the push from my legs all I'm doing is by tilting forwards and pushing with my legs I increase my drive length so there's power going into the machine but longer and that's taken me faster already just by increasing my drive length and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my drive speed by pushing harder with my feet, but still just holding this technique, okay? So here we go. So push harder with my feet. And this is just increasing the drive speed part of my stroke. I'm still at 20 strokes a minute. Well, 21, sorry. <laughs> Oh, but okay. Still at run about 20 strokes a minute, but I'm pushing harder with my legs and going even faster than I was before. And now, if I try and overpower, give me a sec. So, still at 20, and now I'm trying to put in as much push from my legs. And I'm going even faster. And then finally, I'll increase stroke rate. So, higher stroke rate, higher power. And you can see that that's made me get down to 135. But I actually increased stroke rate as well. So, that hopefully shows that it's got nothing to do with the machine. It's all down to you. <laughs> there is no secret to power and speed on the Concept2. There is no idea of, oh, it's, there's not enough resistance. It's all down to how much you put into the machine. So if you just tickle it with a bad technique, it's not gonna feel uh, resistance and kind of heavy. But the more power you put into it, the more the fan turns, the more air it has to push out the way to spin the tougher it feels, but the payoff for that is that the faster you go. So the more of a push you put into the machine, the more power goes into it, and the payoff is that you see your, your speed go up. So that's what it is. So start off with technique. Give yourself a nice drive length instead of a shortened drive length, because again, the difference from me sitting back, if this is the start of my stroke, or me sitting forwards, is, it must be said, quite far. So that is the secret, okay? The secret to power is that you put it in there. It doesn't come from the machine. You put it into the machine. So push harder with the legs, get a nice drive length, get that drive speed up by pushing with the legs in combination 
with a longer drive length and that's where your speed comes from okay so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if you think I've skipped over something, if I've overgeneralized, if you'd like to see me do something different, if you want to see me do this with the lever set to 10 maximum drag factor on my machine, if you want to see me do it again at lever set to 1, just ask. I'll make that video, okay? But you have to ask for me to make that video, okay? So uh, I'm off to make my roll-on workout now. I hope you'll check that one out later. Look out, obviously, for the same t-shirt. <laughs> and <laughs> Or just check out any of my other roll-on workouts I have here on the channel. Until then, take care, be well, bye-bye.